Aloha, it's Daniel, and thank you for watching. I'm here at the Grand Wailea Resort, a Waldorf Astoria under the Hilton brand that is one of the most beautiful hotels in the world. I'm gonna give you an updated property tour of what the grounds look like. If you haven't seen our channel before, we are in a magical mood and we publish lots of content relating to our travel adventures and to Southern California theme parks, especially Disneyland. So please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you can be alerted to when we post new videos. Let's go take a tour of the hotel. Here at the main entrance, right across from the valet parking desk, you'll find this beautiful statue. And back there, the waterfall isn't working, but when it does, it creates a beautiful view. Let's uh, head on into the hotel. Here is the main entrance. On the right, you'll notice there are some bicycles and you can actually rent those. I believe they are included in your resort fee for staying here. And you can see that there is beautiful foliage and little pools everywhere as you walk around the hotel. Entering this main area, you will notice on the left and right there are some statues. So here on the left are the male hula dancers. And then moving to the right, here are the female hula dancers. And straight ahead in the water right here, you will find the Lucky Mermaid Fountain where you can toss a coin in for good luck. The Botero Lounge is right behind this, and it is a fun little lounge that offers sushi most nights of the week and other small bites, as well as drinks of your choosing. And if you'd like to know a little more about that mermaid statue, it tells you right down here that if you toss a coin into the shell the maiden is holding, and it, if it lands inside and stays there, it's a sign of good luck, and your wish may be granted. Hotel registration is over here. And when you check in at the front desk, they give young kids a fun scavenger hunt where they can look through the resort and find different things, put stickers on them, and at the end, turn that in for a prize. Which is your choice of several different necklaces. This is a very cool little gift for the young ones to get after they finish this cool scavenger hunt. So that's the registration desk over there. And then as you walk through the rest of this fourth floor lobby level, you will find some beautiful Botero statues and sculptures. And then real quick down here on the left, you will find the Ikena Breakfast Buffet Restaurant, which is open at least right now daily from 7 to 10 a.m. You can see the entrance down there with all the tables set up. And we have a review of that from last year that we were here. And you can click on the link in the corner above to see what that's like. We ate there this year as well, and it has not changed in any noticeable way. Coming back to the end of this hallway, you can see that there are windows that open up when they want to and out there there is a garden you can walk through that's between kind of the the back tower there and this lower smaller set of rooms down here and then down here past the elevator banks you actually get a beautiful breathtaking view of the grounds below and the ocean so down here again past this this is sort of the upper garden area and both sides of the hotel have a garden that looks very similar to this and then down below this is their chapel area so you can see the chapel we'll get, take a closer look at that in a minute and then the ocean beyond and you can see some of the fountains and pools down below they are still doing construction on their spa which is underneath the ikena breakfast restaurant 
So that is still under construction. I am not sure when they're going to be completing that, but it seems like it's been going on for quite a while because last November it was also under construction. From here you can see some of the neighboring islands. So the smaller crescent moon shaped island there is Molokini. The island behind that is Kaho Olave, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, so apologies. And that is not an inhabited island. And then off there in the distance towards the right, you can see the island of Lanai. Further to the right, you can see West Maui, where you will find Ma'alea Harbor and the towns of Lahaina and Kanapali. Let's head back to the Mermaid Fountain and show you the other side of the lobby level. Now they do have some tables set up here and in the afternoons they have different craft vendors that sell their merchandise here. So they had someone who was carving things and another person selling uh, palm weavings. So that was really cool and nice. Here are the statues on this side. And you can see the uh, the doors are open on this side and there's a similar but different view of the the gardens on this side so you can see that there is again gardens kind of between the the main back tower and the little lower area and then there's some more uh, gardens down there that actually is going to lead you to the pool area let's go take a quick look of that I should add too that these elevators take you from here down to the Ikenna breakfast buffet level and also down to the pool level where you can walk down to the pool. So just like the other side, it's got a similar layout. And then down here, you can kind of see a glimmer of the pools there behind these trees. And again, you can see the end here of the Ikenna Breakfast Buffet Restaurant and the Dolphin Fountain is down there, which we're going to go take a look of in a few minutes when we get to it. And of course, stunning views of the ocean. Let's go ahead back and take a look at some of the shops they have here at the Grand Wailea Hotel. Here we are walking past the mermaid statue on the south side of the hotel again. And as we walk back past where we entered by the valet parking main entrance. We are coming by this set of desks. So these desks that are here on the right have uh, the concierge. You can sign up for different activities. And there's a Hilton Grand Vacations attendant who's not here at the moment. And one of these desks is also where you can rent a car from Enterprise Car Rental. Going down this way towards the Grand Wailea shops, you'll find different shops. Some have artwork that is for sale and you can find other nice souvenirs here as well so here you can see that there's a jewelry shop there's a Tommy Bahama and this is early in the morning right now about 7 a.m. so not a whole lot is open yet but look at these stunning views of this upper garden here on the south side of the hotel. There's a koi pond, and we're gonna take a closer look at that in a minute. There's little gazebos and huts you can relax in and rest in. Everything here is just tropical and beautiful. There is still the Tommy Bahama shop. There's some other shops, some are under construction. And again, nothing seems to really be open yet. So we'll just look out at the beautiful gardens. Looking back at the shops, there is a boutique for men's and women's apparel. There's a, another gift shop that has gifts with Aloha. More garden. And then here on the left, you will find the 
Loulu Quick Service Restaurant. They have grab-and-go items as well as some delicious made-to-order foods. Past that, you will find the temporary spa area. So Mohalo Beauty Lab is part of where they do spa treatments and other beauty treatments. They have a check-in desk uh, elsewhere in the area over here. And then here you will find the Kilohana Cultural Resource Center. And this is where the hotel holds a lot of its free and some paid activities that are good for families and young ones. So you can see there's a schedule here for this week and throughout the day they have different activities that you can participate in. So for example on Wednesdays they have a kids or keiki hula class from 9 to 9 30 in the morning. Um, they have bracelet making and different things. You can see that they do this every day. Uh, or they have some activity every day and it probably changes a little bit week to week but this is a good idea of the different things they offer and the days that they offer them and here is basically the end of the area there is a fedex office uh, shipping type place over there we're going to come down the stairs here and go down to the garden down below As we go this way, you can see the gardens will walk through this just a little bit. So let's go this way. On the right, you'll find their conference center. And so there are meeting rooms and ballrooms where you can host corporate events or receptions if you want to be indoors for them. Though certainly I suggest being outdoors because it is beautiful out here. And here's a koi pond up close. There's not a whole lot of koi, but you can see them a little off in the distance. And everywhere there's nice little Hawaiian touches in terms of decoration wherever you go. Let's head into the garden. And just do a quick little walk around to show you what this looks like. So here you can see it's just beautiful fountains and streams around the pond. And as we come back across this bridge, if you go back to the right there, there is a set of elevators. It's the same elevators we showed you from the lobby that take you up between the fourth floor lobby and down to Ikenna and down to the pool activity area. So you can go that way and use elevators to get up and down. But we're gonna go this way and go to the pool area. You may notice that there are tons of plumeria and other local Hawaiian vegetation and plants and trees everywhere. The air smells tropical as you walk through. So it's not just the tropical look, but the scent and the immersion is just 100% genuine Hawaiian tropical. And it's incredible and beautiful. And here in this pond, you can see the koi a little bit better in this pond. And a beautiful little waterfall off there coming from the top down here. Let's head on down to the pool.
Like I said, it's just incredible walking down here. Everything smells amazing. They have a little beauty hut set up here if you wish to have some nice garden side treatments. Just getting to the pool is a beautiful experience as well. There are obviously a few different ways you can get to it, but this is really nice and just incredibly beautiful. Now, as we come down here, I will say that, as we mentioned up above, they're still doing some construction around here. So this, that we are approaching these uh, huts are, uh, is the Humu Humu restaurant, and it is still under construction. They are working on the pond or water that's supposed to be surrounding it, so it's supposed to look like it's huts floating on water. and. It's still under construction. The restaurant isn't open. Their website lists that it's opening in fall of 2023, but that's now and there's only about a month left and I'm not sure that they're gonna meet that deadline, but hopefully it'll be open fairly soon. But the main construction areas at the hotel right now seem to be here at Humu and the, uh, the spa underneath the Ikena restaurant. We have now made it to the pools, so going to show you real quick kind of a, a brief overview of everything we have an actual video of us going through the pools and showing everything they have here and a cabana tour from last year and everything is still the same here so up in the corner above you can click on the link to see what that looks like so as we come through here there's this fun suspension bridge that i'm walking across and up there you can see that there is a pool and each pool goes to another pool with a little water slide between it. So there's a pool up there, and actually up there there's a couple of large water slides that you need to be 48 inches or taller for. And those take you all the way down to the bottom. But there are a series of pools here in their main activity pool area, and each pool takes you down one level lower. It's not on right now because it's still early in the morning, but there is a slide that is back there that takes you through this area that's kind of a whitewater rapids area. and goes underneath this bridge and leads to the next slide which is not on but in the far end just past those sea turtle mosaics there's the next slide which is the fastest slide and that takes you down to the bottom to the lazy river area so let's go down that way it's a great area for all the kids to play around in and it's super nice that everything is connected and fun and it's not too intense for the little ones the small slides the parents can take your young kids down, even infants. I've seen parents taking down the slides and it's perfectly fine to do that on the smaller slides. Obviously, like I said, the bigger slides have a height limit, but this is just beautiful and amazing. And so that last slide that's not on at the moment leads down to the Lazy River area. And then here is the main pool deck here at the bottom where there are tons of chairs that you can sit at and there are some cabanas out here as well and in case it wasn't apparent the pool area is right up next to the ocean so you can hang out by the pool and if you want to go down to the ocean down to the beach that's super easy to do as well I believe uh, this is actually the people down there practicing yoga I think are part of the hotel's yoga class that they have on select mornings and look at this beautiful view of the ocean down here and the beach coming back from the ocean area one thing i missed on my first walk through is that the luau area is actually right here they seem to have just stuck their pig into the underground cooking area and uh, this is where you can attend the luau, which is offered on select nights here. The hotel does offer through a third party, I believe, some rentals of boogie boards, paddle boards, things of that nature. Let's continue walking along the walkway here and taking a look at the ocean. You can see there's a group canoeing out there. 
You can see beautiful views of the rest of Maui and you can kind of see the other islands off faintly in the distance. But everything is just, as I keep saying, amazing and beautiful. There are chairs here for hotel guests to sit on if they wish. And you can order from the poolside bar here if you are interested in that while you are partaking in the pool. Here on the other side, you can see that the pool area is still empty again because it's early, but and they're working on cleaning it. But here's the baby beach area, which is great for young ones. It's a very shallow and sandy and a safe environment for them to play in. You can see that there's tons of chairs and cabanas available. You do have to pay for cabanas, obviously. Uh, there's showers at the entry points from the beach area back into the pool area. But overall, this is one of the nicest pool areas you are going to find anywhere in the world. So coming along here, you will find the Aloha Trick Pony food truck where you can get different foods in that area back there for lunchtime. And then this is the hut where you can rent different snorkel equipment, paddle boards, things like that. And some of them you pick up there from the kiosk and some of them you will pick up when you enter the ocean. The other thing to note is that if you are a guest at the Grand Wailea, you can see these umbrellas that have been set up with beach chairs. You get complimentary set up on a first come first serve basis of uh, beach chairs and umbrellas on the beach. All beaches in Hawaii are public property, so the Grand Wailea does not own this beach. Anyone can use the beach, but they do have a ton of umbrellas and chairs that you can ask at the pool activity desk for them to set up. And they will do that for you and you can lounge out by the beach instead of by the pool if that's what you'd like to do. Continuing along the walkway, up on the right past the lawn, there is the adult hibiscus pool and so that is a beautiful pool area we will go look at in a minute and you'll also see the chapel coming up here so let's go take a look at those things so we are now heading up to where the chapel is and the sun is very bright because it's still early and it's low on the horizon. So I hope this is all coming out okay without too much glare. But here we go. That's the chapel and there's a beautiful fountain around it or I should say a pond around it. This is the adult pool here on the right. And not very crowded yet so we can do a quick little video of what it looks like it's hard to see but there is a beautiful giant hibiscus flower mosaic in there and it's just gorgeous and beautiful so again this is the pool area for adults 18 and older only You can see that waterfall back there beyond the chapel. And it's just gorgeous. So they have wonderful stained glass on the side. There's a beautiful clock and bell tower at the top. The pond has koi in it. And taking a closer look here at the chapel. I'm not sure if it's open or if we can take a look in. No, it seems like it's roped off, but. Here's a great view of it. You can see the stained glass from the other side, a little bit shining through. So there's a beautiful rainbow motif. This is just 
beautiful. And the lawn around it is also very well maintained and has some beautiful statues and sculptures. There's these little mini gazebos set up as well where you can sit in, rest, relax. Let's take another view of the chapel. So beautiful and picturesque. Here we go walking back along. You can see the construction on the spa here and the Ikenna breakfast with all the umbrellas one level or level and a half above that. And now we're gonna go make our way to one of the best views in the world in my opinion. So here we go back. We're right underneath the Akena breakfast restaurant here in a moment in the center of it. And you can see this fountain that's coming up. And this is their world famous dolphin fountain. It is beautiful and amazing. And one of the coolest, best, amazing views I think you'll find anywhere. So let's see, here we go. And... Presto, look at that. So beautiful, so amazing. It does not get more beautiful than that. Walking away from the dolphin fountain and the lower garden area here on this side, behind the pool area, you will find another little statue and some, some beautiful trees. This gravel walkway, I think, is actually intended for the construction vehicles, so this is not normally here. It should normally be grass, but there's seating area and uh, other beautiful art and trees to look at. And as you can see, some of the rooms are just on the patio here, so you have a great view of the garden from your patio if you happen to have a room in this part of the hotel. That wraps up this walking tour of the Grand Waialea Hotel. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I put you in a magical mood. Mahalo.